Hi everyone, um, thank you for joining us. Uh, sorry we're a little bit late, training extras ran over a bit, so performance comes back, but now we're here, plenty of time you guys. We will start with the live section for Richard Cockrell. Um, if you would like to ask a question, please raise your virtual hand and I will come to you. Thank you very much. Who would like to go first, please? Jamie, lovely, we'll come to you, thank you. Thanks, Catherine. Good afternoon, Richard. Hi, Jamie. Uh, can I ask you, first of all, a question about Manu? Um, obviously, being such a stop-start England career for him, and but for injuries, it could have been very different. What do you see, you've obviously known since he was a kid, what do you see in the 31-year-old Manu different from the, the teenage Manu? Oh, probably his professionalism and the way he looks after himself, like he's in um, he's in really tremendous shape. He's got His body weight's good, he's lean and, and ripped. Um, obviously now a family man with different responsibilities so yeah just a, a good pro and an understanding that he understands his body uh, really well um, and he manages himself on and off the field really well so yeah just more mature and, uh, and um, more knowledgeable about what he needs to do to, to, to keep fit. Do you see an added determination from him and maybe a bit, a bit of a bit between the teeth that he's definitely part of that World Cup squad 12 months from now? Oh definitely he's very motivated he's uh He's um, always been very keen to play for, play for England right from the start, um, you know, and that's uh, there's a there's a history behind that with how he came into the country, etc. So no, I think he's very motivated and very keen to to be part of the World Cup. We've seen in the first few weeks of the Premiership some really high scoring games, really attacking rugby that typically in the Northern Hemisphere, anyway, internationally we don't see. It tends to be a bit more cagey, a bit more pragmatic. Do you think it's possible? internationally to play the sort of standard rugby that we've seen in the Premiership these last few weeks? I think when the, when the opportunities come, I think there's there's definitely that opportunity that all teams want to to play like that. But we know that test matches are a, a different type of game. That's the one thing I've learned very quickly, having been in for, for a year now, is that, um, and only been exposed to the, to, to the Premiership in Europe before, is that test match rugby is very different. So, um, yeah, I think all teams want to play play like that, but you have to pick and choose the right opportunities to do it. And just one final question from me. If I could just get your take on the Worcester situation and whether, with your knowledge of English club rugby, whether you fear other clubs could head the same way. Yeah, obviously disappointment for, for Worcester. Great, great history uh, with them, with obviously Cecil Duckworth and what, he, what, he's, what he did there. Um, and yeah, it's, it's it's sad, isn't it? I mean, hopefully that there's a way forward for them. Um, um, and obviously, we want a strong Premiership. You know, we want strong teams, and we want them to be well supported and, and well financed. So, um, okay, personally, you know, it's it's not a it's not a great look for the, for the Premiership. And you want all got all all teams to be vibrant and successful, and um, and the Premiership to be strong um, because you want you want good teams that can compete and. Uh, and make that make it a, a spectacle. So, yeah, it, it it's not a good look, and and hopefully the 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 rest of the clubs uh, are are able to to survive. You know, obviously, we're post COVID, and but those things are starting to bite, and we're we're starting to probably see the real, mm -hmm. um, you know, the reality of of what what's what COVID brought, and and the ramifications of that are starting to hit home a little bit. But yes, sad really, and and hopefully, uh, like I say, clubs can find a way through it.